this video I will show you how to parameterize the position of the fan to get the lowest temperature in the circuit. We have different components, so let's begin creating the geometry. Modify the cabinet size. Notice that I'm using the start and mode for the coordinates. Now let's create and set up the fan. Select the plane and tap the size. As the fan will move in the side direction, we need to type these characters first and then type the initial position. In ANSI size pack, we can work with fans having their characteristic curves. This is the case. In the Properties tab, select Nonlinear and then Text Editor. Now type the coordinate pairs of the curve to define the pressure flow rate behavior. Next, generate the curve and define its rotational speed. Then type the operating speed for the fan. For the grill, select the plane and type the dimensions. We want the grill to cover all the outlet surface. In the Properties tab, modify the Free Area Ratio to 0 0.5. Repeat the same steps for the PCV. This time the position is at the bottom of the cabinet. In the properties tab, define the thickness, material and the heat flux. The IC chips will be modeled as blocks. Begin by creating the block, set up its properties and then make three copies in a linear range. Follow the same steps for the second row of IC chips. This time select Network from the type list. Set up the properties and make three copies again. The domain has an empty space, so we can create a hollow block to include this condition. Here, just define the dimensions of the block. Finally, create the heat sink that will help to reduce the temperature. As usual, define the plane and the dimensions. 
Do not forget to add the base and overall heights. Choose the sync type and complete the setup. The components are now complete. In this step, we create assemblies to have non-conformal meshes for better quality. Create assemblies for the fan and another for the IC chips. Now we can generate the mesh and check the quality. We need to define the different positions of the fan as part of the parametrization. Under Solve, select Define Trials. You see the initial value there, but type the rest of the values you prefer. All values can be seen on the Trials tab. Click on Close. It is recommended to define one variable at least to monitor during the simulation. Finally, define the basic settings and parameters as part of the model setup. Run the optimization, including the points you prefer. The first simulation will take the first position of the fan and the rest will be solved in sequence. Once the last model is finished, you can load the results for each trial solve. Go to the Post menu, select Load Solution ID and pick the sets of results you want to assess. Create contour plots or any other option to post-process your results. Here, we want to know the temperature for each position of the fan. And that's all for today. Apply this setup in your simulations. Thanks for watching.